Hey there, and welcome to another edition of the Rural Jur Brewery Tour. I'm Seth. With me in spirit is Jay. Not in these kind of spirits, but you know what I mean. Today, we're going to be talking about double IPAs. So right now, it's the perfect weather to be having dark beers. Stouts, porters, browns, ambers, all that great stuff. I've been enjoying quite a few of them. But I wanted to point out a couple of great beers that are in the LCBO right now that are double IPAs. And these are just excellent beers. Perfect for this time of year as well. We've got the West Coast Swing from Left Field Brewery and the Hopsters Double IPA from Bench. Two excellent breweries. Today, since they're double IPAs and I'm running solo, I'm just going to be having the Left Field. This one comes in at 7.2% alcohol. This one, the West Coast Swing, I have never had this one. I'm assuming from left field that there, this is going to be an excellent IPA. They always make some really great beers. The other thing that I like about left field is that they have small cans. And so since it's just me, a strong beer in a small can, just one guy, perfect for this kind of night. Yeah. So I'm, ex I'm assuming that since it's a West Coast Swing, this is going to be a West Coast style IPA. So very bitter, very hoppy, uh, piney, resiny, that kind of thing. It certainly pours with a little bit of cloud in there. Lots of suspensions in there. Nice white head. A little bit yellow. A tiny bit of orange hue to it. Not very much. The head is sticking around. And the nose is super juicy, actually, which is interesting. Yeah, very, very juicy. Lots of tangerine, orange, a little bit of lemon there, a hint of spice. I'm not sure what that what that is yet. Maybe a pepper or a, a ginger or something like that. But yeah, very nice. All right, let's see how this tastes. The bitterness is certainly there. This is a nice punch-in-the-face bitterness. Excellent balance, but very bitter. Probably a 70 or 75 IBU. and But it still has a little bit of juice flavor to it, which is really interesting. There's that little bit of bite, which is hidden. That spice that I was talking about, it's kind of hidden with some of the bitterness. But it comes through as a, a, a very, almost like a ginger or a, a slight heat, like a, a white pepper almost idea in the very back of the throat. Oh, medium body, very smooth, dry finish. Just leaves your mouth totally clean, waiting for that next sip. But the bitterness certainly digs in at the end, especially after that dryness hits, that bitterness comes through. This is a very, very nice beer. Yeah, nice job, left field. But check out some of the doubles and even some of the triple IPAs that are in the LCBO. There's some great beers out there right now. Make sure you check out some of the wet hops that are available right now. This is the perfect time where all those wet hop beers are, they should be ready. They should be in the in the uh, the breweries. Check out their websites. Check out some fresh wet hop beer. You won't be disappointed. Thanks so much for joining me tonight for a short episode of the Rural Jura Brewery Tour where we try some double IPAs. Thanks so much for watching. Check out the website, ruraljurabrewerytour.com. Lots of fun stuff there. There's a beer blog, all kinds of awesome stuff. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.